Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix with and I try in this tutorial. I'm going to be showing how you can easily add dimension to your images using Photoshop. So oftentimes after doing screen retouching, especially most of us that use frequency separation, we tend to end up with very flat and boring photos. And sometimes as we are using the Mr. Brush tool or whichever tool, for example, the last tool that we use for frequency separation, it tends to take out or take out the original highlights and the shadows that are meant to be part of the image so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you a technique known as dodging and burning that is going to bring back shape or dimension to images after doing skin retouch and it's going to be very easy and simple to follow so if at all you find the video helpful i request that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there and don't forget to subscribe this channel so you can see this is the image uh, after retouching looks a little bit more on the flat side and this is after the dodging and burning so i'm just going to come and delete the dodge and burn group so that we can do everything and learn everything from the very start so we're going to be using the curves adjustment layers to do or add shape and dimension to the image so that it can be more of a three dimension kind of portrait so in order to do this we're just going to come to the adjustments and come to our curves adjustment layer so it when you come to the curves adjustment layer, you are going to simply click right in the middle. Remember, dodging and burning is more of enhancing the highlights and the shadows. So when you are enhancing the highlights, will be dodging, and when you are enhancing the shadows, will be burning. So in this case, we want to enhance or brighten more and make the the highlights of the image. A little bit more prominent so you're just going to click in the curves adjustment layer left click and simply drag this up up to a point when the image is getting to a little bit over exposed so just stop at that point and after doing that we're going to come and select the layer mask and simply press ctrl i or if at all you're using mac use command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect from affecting the overall image remember in photoshop white is going to reveal that is why the effect was showing over the whole image and when we press ctrl or command i it was hidden behind this black mask so remember we just brightened up the image so i'm just going to close this and i'm going to rename this to dodge remember dodge is for brightening then i'm going to do the same for the shadow area so i'm just going to come and create a second curves adjustment layer right here and I'm going to click in the middle and simply under expose the image. So after doing this, we're just going to make sure the white layer mask is selected, then press Ctrl or Command I to hide the effect from affecting the overall image. And we're going to double click right here and we're going to name this into burn, just like that. So after doing this, you can see that there is no effect on the overall image. So what we want to do, we want to ensure that the effect is taking place on the overall image so before we do anything else we're just going to put these two in a group by selecting both and pressing ctrl g on the keyboard or you can use command g on the keyboard then you can as well drag this into this folder icon to put them in a group and you can name that group into dodge and burn so when you turn this on and off you can see still there is no effect on the image so we're just going to open up the dodge and burn group then after doing this, we're just going to select, click on the black layer mask. Make sure it is selected. Then we're going to come under the brushes, right click and get the brush tool. And make sure the hardness is all the way to 0%. Then make sure the mode is normal, opacity and the flat 100%. So you have to come and make sure you have black and white on these two colors. Because we're going to be dealing with these two colors when we are dealing with this layer mask right here. So make sure you left click on these two small boxes to get black and white or you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is the top color meaning the white brush is going to be revealing what was hidden behind this black mask right here so what we are going to do we're just going to simply draw lines so for the dodge you're going to be drawing those lines on the areas that have highlights within the image so i'm just going to simply draw these lines on the highlight areas just like this and this is okay 
so you can as well come and enhance this highlight right there then i'm going to enhance the highlight on the nose area then come and enhance this other area on uh, the cheek right here so i'm just going to be drawing these lines and come to uh, the chin right here and i'm going to do the same then i'm also going to come and do the same for the highlight on the lip area and i'm also going to come to the band and i'm going to come and drag this or continue drawing these lines on the shadow areas just like this so come to the nose area and simply draw a line you can see i'm following the shape of the shadow area in this very image so after i've done this i'm just i'm just going to continue drawing these lines in the shadow areas so right now this doesn't look nice and doesn't look really great to us so we want to fade the line in or within the image so with this black layer mask still selected you can simply come to window and you come and make sure you select properties so when you come to properties it's going to open up the properties window then if at all that is a little bit a long process for you you can simply close this and after doing this simply double click on the layer mask icon and it's going to open up the properties window right here so in the properties we have density and feather so when you come to feather with the band layer selected you see what you're going to do we're just going to left click and drag this and as you're dragging it you're going to notice that it's going to start fading within the image so you stop at the point when you feel like those lines have really blended within the image and you're going to come and simply click on the dodge layer mask the black one right here make sure the layer mask is selected and come to feather and simply start taking up the feather ring just like that so basically these lines are going to fade within the image and as we are doing this you can notice that the lines have faded within as the image so what you're going to do are just going to turn on this on and off you can see that we have brought back the shape and dimension that was meant to be part of the original image you can see before after and when you feel like the effect is too much you can turn on or off the opacity a little bit down and you can see before after and right now we have the shape and dimension brought back to the image so when you feel like the dodge or the band is a little bit too much you can come and select the band and turn down the opacity or turn down the opacity of the dodge after selecting so this is the before after before after so basically this is how to add shape or dimension to images using photoshop using the global dodging and burning technique and if at all you have found the video helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ron Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.